Hello, hello, hello! I'm back with some more of the wonderful Mass Effect 3 in preparation for Andromeda. And I'm playing with Shepard. Huh. Sounds weird. Anyway, um, I have no idea what is going on right now. I mean, I have some semblance of an idea. Ah yes, Shepard is dreaming. Nightmares. More of the child... Um, psychological manipulation that so often goes on in the world of Mass Effect. But you see, it will not work on me, because quite simply, I'm insane. Or at least very well used to child death. I have read a lot of books. I've been to college, I'm full of knowledge, you see. <laughs> oh god, this is a bit too loud. Oh, right. So, as you see, Shepard is being tortured by dreadful experiences and by post-traumatic stress from all that she saw on Earth. No surprise, really, since, well, seeing your planet get massively ravaged by evil robot aliens intelligent gigantic ships, basically dreadnoughts of um, a size that is far larger than most things that your mind can accept as normal, I imagine it is quite traumatic, quite awful, an experience like a few others. Anyway, I do believe it's time to get up. Ah, uh, Liara. Liara. Can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Why am I not surprised? I know. Are you alright? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? That's really bothering you. I'm thinking of a really great DLC, Mass Effect 3, A Good Night's Rest, where you just let Shepard sleep without all these slow-mo nightmares. Hmm. The Reapers are here, now. And the Council, the other races, are only interested in looking after themselves. Yeah. How many civilians are dying while they wait for us to make the first move? At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. <laughs> Not anymore. They'll come you around. Mean. They've got to. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist. Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. Oh. I your pardon is well and truly begged. Commander Shepard? I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance RD. I was part of the team Good retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Did you do your job well? There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell it me It happens to us all. The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. Woohoo! In fact, quantum entanglement Admiral communicators. Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no oh. longer an option. The yes, bastard. I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored it's to It's my ship! You, Commander. Bloody if you hell. need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Not a virtual Edie's intelligence. In Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Of course you did. You're a clever girl. Be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, oh. shall I give you a tour? 
I'm sure many fanfics have been written in about the these you'll two. Find the galaxy map <laughs> where you can set the Normandy's destination. Yes. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Why am I not surprised? The war room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. I do love me a war room. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And then she are. tends Still to do that. As before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Again. Admiral Hackett would <laughs> like to speak to you at the VidCom. Oh, what he now? Another one of the sons of guns who Commander. wanted to take my ship away from me. Odina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. Well, I would be lying if I said that they're useless, so I'm going to go with the reasonable, not completely insane and self centered answer. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. Uh, sure. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. At this point, Earth probably looks more like a Hackett. fiery cauldron of brimstone, hellfire and death. Which is not something I'm against, you know. Let's see, war assets. Oh, I remember that. Great. So many war assets, and yet so little. All right. Good to know that we've got all of those. I'll take basically another what, 40 hours, 80 videos at least, to get all the war houses that we need. No biggie. Ah yes, this super weird gate, which slows down everything. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Commander? Will he now? Check on your new recruit? Just wanted yes. to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. If you need help... Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, I'm so nice. No trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. I do. You put in a requisition order. My toothbrush... We can. ...decision Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up the and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Oh, yeah, let's dig into the spicy stuff. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. Don't talk like that. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive. 
and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Yeah. I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Or, or Londoners that, from sure, Earth without money? As well. Ha! What a... What a load of tosh. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy. But Everyone is talking about quantum entanglement today. And then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation mm -hmm. GUI. It's an exciting GUI. challenge. Um, for me, anyway. I wish I knew what GUI meant. Anyway, what's your reaction to the war? Toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Or not washing your teeth. Helps. It if might actually make things worse, you know. Reapers, it's you. And if so, yeah. your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Honestly, I say... Carry on, specialist. Go for an even more expensive toothbrush. Oh! Special Ops, reinstatement, emergency, blah, blah, blah. Welcome back. From Edie. While we were in the dry dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have in hand should he be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers, he suggested I choose something from the official system's alliance catalogue. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket for wear on of duty hours. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. Eden Prime. Interesting. Occupying the colony. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right. We're going to go to Eden Prime, I suppose. Tactical Mastery. I don't need any of that. Let's go talk with Joker and head off to Eden Prime. Meetings. Bom, bom, bom. I love my ship. It's just the best ship ever. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know oh, if you yeah. want to them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Sure. Commander. Oh, that's one of the things I hated with this part of Mass Effect. You didn't have much to speak about with Joker. Yeah, that's right. What a horrible choice. Alright. I am going to go. Conquered systems. Ooh. Oh yes. This is the Milky Way map, as you have probably seen at this point. Rescue Turian Primac. Recover protein artifact. Cerberus Lab. So many choices. Let's go here. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel and feel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate it is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Okay, if I enter the orbit of this planet, I get nothing. I'm trying to remember whether there was an annoying scanning game here as well. I found something. Ah, there we go. What did I find? You, I meant. Oh, 
So there was an annoying scanning game. Excitement. So what did I find? Protein data files. Lovely. Such excitement as I have never, ever known. Let's get to Eden Prime. Ooh, 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 hoo, hoo. What is it? It's a wreckage. 200 units of fuel. Well, totally useless. Eden Prime, is it? This idyllic agrarian world was one of the first human colonies established beyond the Karen mass relay. Karen. Eden Prime's fertile biosphere drew heavy immigration from the System Alliance and other human organizations. In 2183, Eden Prime was attacked by a Geth force led by the rogue specter Saren Aterius. That's the name of the antagonist of Mass Effect 1. The one I couldn't remember back at the beginning of last episode. Or was it the middle of last episode? Yeah. Anyway. Commander Shepard, responding to the attack, encountered a protein beacon that warned of imminent Reaper invasion. It is thanks to this beacon and the Commander's quick action that the galaxy has any chance of survival today. Although the Reapers rushed past much of the Exodus cluster in their plan to take Earth, it is clear the war has come to Eden Prime. Distress signals have jammed all available frequencies, fires burn in vast wars across the arable land, and its once extensive monorail system is twisted metal. Cerberus is much loose if word of their ruthless attack and the human colony gets out. What they stand to gain must be equally valuable. Let's see what that is then, shall we? Alright. Oh, another gun, is it? Let's see, what does more damage? Well, definitely the Crusader. Can I modify it in any way? Apparently, yeah. Oh. Good. This will do, I believe. Anything else? A gun. Do I really need a gun? Probably. Power recharge speed. Minus 175%. Minus 170. Ugh. You know what? What the hell? If I'm unhappy with it, I can always dump a load of those weapons off next time I find a bench. This is where it all began. It is, isn't it? But I don't think you were there. The Protheon beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Oh yes, there that was a vision. A few years to prepare. Without it, the Reapers would have finished this already. Right. So any other Protheon artifact on Eden Prime could be just as important. Yes. And this time you'll be here to help with whatever we find. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. Ah, now I remember. Basically, I got a vision, and no what happened was I went looking men. for a protein specialist. Understood. That's how I met Liara. Right, Get ready to move. With luck, we a can galaxy get renowned protein archaeologist, let's just say. Who was what? 100, 150 years old, maybe older, and considered quite young and inexperienced for her race. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Mm-hmm, and that's exactly what we'll do. They'll rebuild this place once we've dealt with Cerberus. The city on that. It's a Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. 
Hey, Doc. Any idea what that is? I can't tell much from here, but it's from their final dynasty. Functional, but without the decoration of earlier periods. Archaeologists always wondered why Prothean architecture became simpler at the end. It's clear now. No, we know. They were too busy fighting the Reapers to care about aesthetics. Why am I not surprised? So let's put my sniper at the ready. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died away. That out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Excellent. More walls, wall assets unlocked, I there. suppose. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Is it now? Oi. I'm pressing space not to go around doing gymnastics, but to go down with this here elevator. That, is, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's... A Prothean. So it's a body. No. Cerberus found a living Prothean. What? Right. That oh, that's possible. a DLC, isn't it? Prothians had powerful stasis technology. That's the only reason any of their artifacts survived intact. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. I'm afraid most of what's known about Protheans comes right from Right now I'm getting kind of the Empire echoes the of how excited I was they last time I played through this. To help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little faster. <laughs> yes. Judging by the dig yes. sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. That does sound a bit too friendly. They had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy. It's unlikely they did that just by playing nice. Of course. They must have had an impressive military as well. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive... See, Liara in Mass Effect 1 would have been shocked by my bluntness. But Liara in Mass Effect 3 is kinda awesome. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the Spot life signs when they activated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Ah, uh, speak of the devil. Or rather, of his dog. <laughs> and it shows up immediately. Oops. Damn it. Completely missed that shot. See? Did not miss that one. Not that one! <laughs> And three in a row. How how do we keep moving? Where do we Oh yeah, we are looking for stuff. Things. Oops. Must stop pressing shift. Oh my. Anything useful? No? Oh, 
Oops. Screw that bit up. Damn it. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch weapons right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I completely screwed this bit up. Did not realize there was a... Yeah. Let's do this the right way now, shall we? First thing, gonna check all these houses. In the hopes that I'll find something useful. Or at least more bullets for my sniper gun. Oh, see? Salvaging equipment, always good. Credits, lovely. Here's some ammo. Anything in the house? Oh, more credits. Alright, the fact that this weapon is currently unable to hit me, really nice. Whoops. Well, this did nothing useful. Alright. All good so far. Resistance information update. Word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They are putting in forces from across the colony. This gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Good, good, good. Lovely. To help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. And I'm all about intel, aren't I? Oh, med kit. Oh, it's useful. You know, I'm just going back and forth right now. Any of you boys here? Or here? Alright. Oh, there's someone here, isn't there? Interesting. You know, this shotgun quite different from the last one. And I'm not sure I quite like it, honestly. There. Huh, maybe I do. Found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Which lab? That one lab? No, not that lab. That's not a lab. Obviously another lab. Maybe that lab. Yeah, probably that lab. Who the hell knows which lab they meant? Hey, I know. I will use the proper button to show me, to point me to that lab. And there it is, right under my nose. Pod data. Alright, so I missed the big green door, which makes me something even strange, foolish creature. 